everyone. So one of the hardest things uh, about teaching this unit remotely is trying to explain the right hand rule because normally I can actually like demonstrate it for you in real time. Um, but it's kind of harder to do that when we are separated and not able to like actually look at each other in three dimensions. So I figure the next best thing I can do is just walk you through a little bit of that right hand rule practice using my actual right hand here. So um, I'm gonna walk you through how to get the answers to numbers one and two on the 7.3 practice on magnetic force right hand rule. So just as a reminder, when we're using our right hand to predict the direction of force or to analyze a situation where magnetic force is being exerted upon a charged particle or a current, thumb always represents the direction of the charged particle's motion. So that could be velocity or that could be current. Your fingers always represent the direction of the magnetic magnetic field that that particle is passing through, and then your palm represents the direction of the force that is being exerted upon that charged particle. So it's just a matter of like twisting our hand to get it into the proper configuration to figure out what's going on. So let's dive into uh, number one. So for all of these, we know the direction that our charged particle is moving, its velocity, as well as the direction of the magnetic field. We wanna figure out the direction of the force acting on it. So for part A here, I see that the velocity is directed upward. That's represented by my thumb. So I'm gonna stick my thumb going up in the same direction as the velocity. And then I see that my magnetic field has a bunch of X's, uh, which is a sign that the magnetic field lines are pointing into the page away from me, the viewer, right now. So I'm gonna take my fingers, which represent the field, and point them into the page the same way that the, uh, that the magnetic field is going. So my thumb is going up, my fingers are going into the page, and I see then that my palm is facing to the left, which means that is the direction of the force acting on my charged particle. So we'll go through that same process again with these other ones. So uh, velocity is still upward, that's my thumb for part B, so thumb goes up, and then the magnetic field lines are pointing to the right, so I'll have my fingers going to the right, and now I see that my palm is facing away from me, um, going down into the page, which means that the force then is directed into the page away from me. For part C, I've got my velocity going to the left, so my thumb's gonna go to the left, and then my magnetic field is pointing down, so I need to rotate my hand so that my fingers are pointing downward. When I do that, I see that my palm is facing out of the page, away, uh, away from the paper, towards me, so that's gonna be the direction of the force is coming out of the page. And then the last one for number one, I've again got my, my velocity directed to the left, but now my magnetic field is pointing out of the paper, so I'm gonna rotate my hand so that my fingers are also pointing out of the page. Uh, my thumb is still pointing to the left, and at this point, my palm is facing upward with respect to the paper. So then the direction of force is upward. All right. So that's how we're gonna use our right hand rule to figure out the direction of force given the velocity and the field. For number two, we're changing this up just a little bit. And here you're given the direction of the, uh, the velocity of our charged particle and the force that is acting on it. And we need to figure out the direction of the magnetic field. So I'm gonna start once again with velocity with my thumb. So here the velocity of the charged particle is directed to the right. So my thumb needs to go to the right. And then the force is directed upwards. And again, my palm represents the force, which means that I need my palm to be facing up towards the top of my piece of paper here. So I've got my velocity, my thumb going to the right, and my hand, my palm facing upward. I see that to do that, I have to have my fingers pointing down into the piece of paper. So that must be the direction of my field. It's going into the piece of paper. For this next one here, now my velocity is directed out of the piece of paper, so I'm gonna put my, my thumb out in such a way that the thumb is pointing out of the page. And again, my, my force is directed upward towards the top of the page, so I'm going to uh, position my hand such that the palm is facing upward. And I see that in order to do that, with my thumb still pointing out of the page, my fingers have to be pointing to the right side of the page. So that's the direction 
of my magnetic field. And then my last one over here, oh man, here's a doozy. Okay, so uh, here my velocity is directed into the page. So I'm gonna put my thumb going down into the page right here. And then my force is directed to the left, which means I need to position my hand whew, such that my palm is also facing towards the left part of the page. And so when I do that, get my thumb going down into the page, my palm facing over to the uh, left, then I have to have my fingers pointing downward here. So that's the direction of my magnetic field. It must be pointing downward. All right, I hope that helps to clarify how to use the magnetic force right hand rule to analyze situations where a magnetic field is exerting a force on a moving charged particle. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.